Hey guys, and welcome to my first video on this channel. Today, I'll be covering why Snapchat stock fell 28% on Friday and my outlook on the future of this company. Quick disclaimer before I start, I am not a financial advisor or a professional of any kind. This video is for entertainment purposes only. If we take a quick look on why Snapchat fell 28% in one day, you can see over here that Snap plunges more than 25% on their third quarter revenue miss. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, what is revenue, and why does it have anything to do with Snapchat stock falling 28% in a single day? Well, if you're not a super nerd like me, and you don't know what revenue is, I'm here to explain it. Revenue is the money generated from normal business operations calculated as the average sales price times the number of units sold. If you think that was all a bunch of business jargon, and you did not understand a word of what I just said, let me give you an example. So here we have Jeff Bezos and with his shiny looking bald head and he's trying to calculate the revenue of Amazon. So let's say Amazon sold 100 packages at $10 each. He would then have to calculate 100 packages times $10, which is really hard math. I have to use a calculator for this and it is $1,000 revenue. That is basically how you calculate the revenue of any company. Now you may be wondering to sell Bro, you gave me a really elementary description of revenue, but what does this have to do with Snapchat plunging 25%? Well, in this article, it shows why. It shows that the revenue was reported $1.13 billion versus $1.14 billion expected, which really isn't a lot and not really something that would cause the stock to drop 25%. But Snap's third quarter revenue grew 6% from a year earlier, the first time it's dipped into single digits since the company's public market debut in 2017. It also says that, meanwhile, even as it's reported a surprise adjusted profit, Snap's net loss surged 400% to $360 million, partly due to a $155 million restructuring charge. It also says in August, Snap announced that it would lay off 20% of the company's roughly 6,000 employees as part of a major restructuring plan. Severance and related costs made up a big part of the restructuring charge in the period. Some other things that I'd like to add that was stated in this article was Snap added that revenue growth is likely to keep decelerating in the fourth quarter, as that period has historically been relatively more dependent on brand-oriented advertising revenue, which declined in the latest period. Also, Snap shares have lost over three quarters of their value this year, and are down more than 30% since July, when the company reported second quarter results that missed on the top and bottom lines. Should the stock close on Friday at its after-hours level, it would be the lowest since early 2019. As in the second quarter, Snap's board authorized a stock repurchase program of up to $500 million. The company had $4.4 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities as of September 30th. Snap said that during the quarter, as part of its plan to reduce costs, it would shutter several expensive projects, like including its Pixie drone, which it plans to sell for 230 bucks. Snap also ended the production of its Snap Originals Premium show. So basically, what this article is saying is that Snapchat is going to have a very bearish outlook in quarter four of this year because Snapchat is buying back most of their stock and that they're canceling a lot of their programs that might make them extra cash. Now, if we look at Snap's yearly chart, you can see that it started the year at around 54 bucks and it has dropped all the way down to seven bucks. That's almost an 86% decrease in a single year. This is due to its revenue and earnings this year being really bad and its overall outlook looking pretty grim. So this is why Snapchat stock fell 28% in a single day and why it may fall even more. If you liked this video or found it entertaining, then please like and subscribe. Thank you.